Now the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch options. For this, make a right click on the game select properties. Go to general tab and over here type in dash DX12. And then you can launch the game. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So try this. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12 and then check. Still not working. Remove this. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to turn off HDR. If you are able to stay in the game, uh, you can. If you are able to go to the graphics option, turn off HDR. You can even switch to window mode. If it is already on window mode, you can try full screen and then you can check. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options and then go to graphics over here and then click on brightness over here. Now, if HDR is on over here, turn this off, turn it off and then you can check. Now, uh, over here, if this is set to like full screen, uh, you can try window mode. And if you are already using window mode, you can switch to full screen and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, you can go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, you can go to Lenovo website. If you have HP computer, go to your HP website. So make sure that you go to your system manufacturer website and select your model number. Uh, you have to make sure that you select your computer and then you can select your model number and then this is just an example and then you can go to drivers and download find the BIOS, the latest BIOS. Select the right operating system and then you can check for BIOS and then you have to install the latest BIOS. Download it, install it, and in case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to M NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Now select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, and then click on find. The latest graphic card driver has released and the latest one right now is 581.15. Whichever is the latest, you will see at the top GeForce Game Ready Driver, the latest one at the very top, click on view, and then you can click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on ok and then click on agree and continue select custom option over here then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation click on next make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and after the clean installation restart your computer and then check if amd card uses do the same thing go to amd website select your graphic card update your graphic card driver restart your computer now, the next step is to roll back graphics driver to 577 version. This is for NVIDIA users. Now, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So, when, when you go to NVIDIA website, after you select your graphic card and, and operating system, and then on this page, click on view more for view more version. And then scroll down here, you can see GeForce Game GameDD driver. Driver version is 577.00. Click on view, and then you can download this file. And then I run this exe file, and then when you go for installation, make sure that you select custom option and then you have to put a check on perform a clean installation, then click on next. After the clean installation, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to disconnect multiple monitors. So if you have multiple monitor set up, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor and then check. Next step is to, now if you're using any third party antivirus for fatal error, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you, so you can try this. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app, browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder. 
and then open the game folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location and then select the game exe file, click on open, again click on add and allow app, browse all apps and then open this folder, binaries, win64, select this exe file, click on open, again click on add and allow app, browse all apps and then go back, again back, open this one, binaries, win64. So there are three exe files, click on open, click on add. Now, once you add all the exe files, similarly you have to add all the exe, all the three exe files to your antivirus program. Now, for many, uh, many players have disabled their antivirus program uh, while playing the game, uh, but I do not recommend you to disable the antivirus program. That has worked for many players. So, but I want you to allow all the exe file to your antivirus program, all the three exe files. Now, if you're using uh, F-Secure uh, antivirus, you can disable deep guard and then check, you can find the option in the antivirus program. If you are using Komodo, then you can go to Komodo settings, containment, turn off, auto containment, Kaspersky users add all the exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using malware bytes, then add the game exe file and complete game folder to the ransom protection module exclusion list. So make sure that you allow all the exe file to your antivirus program. Now the next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options. In my case, I have only balanced one, but in your case, you might see this uh, uh, like power saver option. So you can select power saver, launch the game and then check. You can even go for balanced or high performance. Check which one is working fine for you. you have to relaunch the game. Whenever you make changes, relaunch the game. If you're using uh, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility software, uh, you can uh, lower down performance score ratio. If you don't have it, you can install it. And then you can, over here, you can see go to performance score ratio. You can lower it down to maybe 55, 54, 53, 52. Just lower down performance score ratio, hit apply, and then launch the game and then check. Also turn off or turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Click on advanced settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on. If this is already on, turn it off. And once you make changes, you have to restart the game. Turn off Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a record in the game, select properties, go to general, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, click on the settings uh, and then you can scroll down and then you will see overlay options somewhere. Overlay, overlay, overlay. Yeah, game overlay and then turn off these overlays. So here you can see enable overlay, all these overlays are off. And then you have to close Discord. So if the Discord is running, quit. And then you can launch the game. If you have Nvidia app running, so you can go to Nvidia app settings. And then over here you can see Nvidia overlay. If this is on, turn this off. And then you have to close this Nvidia overlay. So close all the overlay application and then you can check, close, uh, turn off overlay and then close all the overlay. Delete the config folder. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, open users folder, your username folder, open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, then open app data folder, open the local folder, and then find your MGS Delta folder, I think. Yeah. And open save folder and then open the, here you can see config folder. If you want to create a backup, you can copy it, paste it to the desktop. When you delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. So you can rename it or you can delete it. So in my case, I will just rename it. Now you can launch the game and then you can check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. Now for this, you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box, click on view advanced system settings, and then click on the first settings under advanced, and then click on advanced over here, click on change, and uncheck this box, select the drive where the game is installed, and then select custom option. And then you have to initial for, you can try this, you can always revert these changes. So no need to worry, we will just go to default if this does not work. So now for this, uh, you can check, initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system, and then you can go to about option over here, you will see the total RAM. In my case is 16 gigabyte. Now for uh, we have to convert this to megabyte. 
So total RAM is 16. In my case, you have to calculate as per your RAM. So 16 in my case, 16 multiplied 1024 in megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial side that is 24576 in my case. Now for maximum size 3 multiplied total RAM. Total RAM is 16 multiplied 1024 megabyte in megabyte multiplied 3 that is 49152. 49152. And then click on set over here. Set is important. Click on set and then click on OK and then apply OK. You have to relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, restart the computer and then check. Still not working, click on view advanced system settings. The, again, click on first settings, advance, change. And this time, select this option, system manage size. And then click on set. Set is important. And then click on OK. Click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. And then restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working, we will go to default. We will just default the settings. We advanced system settings, click on first settings, advanced, change, just go to default. Put a check over here and then click on OK. And then follow the next step. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, try to launch the game from the game installation folder, manage browse local files. Make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check. If that does not work, open this folder, binary win64. Make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to in and this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try Windows 8 version, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, try Windows 7, hit apply, apply is important and then click on OK. Then put a check on the box, disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now do the same thing with the third exe file, try this exe file as well. Minor is win64, make a right click on the game and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrative game files. After the verification, launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows settings. Do not ignore this. People ignore it. The steps which I'm telling, some uh, pe people don't follow. And please make sure that you follow all the steps. And then you can check update all once the update is done, now restart your computer and then you can check. Now, the last step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have any uh, external devices which you're not using like hotas, wheel, pedals, you can disconnect it, disconnect. If you have any extra controller, um, sorry, extra, like sometimes we have USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have used, uh, the dongle for controller connected, disconnect extra controller, do not overclock set it to default if you have overclocked set it to default and close all the overclocking application like msi after burner revert tuner disconnect multiple monitor if you have any third party services or application running close it and also if you're under voltage your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel